Do you realize what it means to be Leonardo DiCaprio for other people, the power that you have? Oh, you know, for me, I, I, I go to premieres, I get, you know, that's, it's, a, it's a rare experience where you get to showcase one of your films, and those are the time periods where you get to see, you know, fans come out in, in, in large quantities and support. It feels great, you know, when you're an artist and you work incredibly hard at what you do, to have people, you know, recognize that is a great feeling. And when you go internationally, for example, when you went to Argentina, well, did you learn any Spanish or with Alicanto? No, the truth is that when you go off in these locations, you're so concentrated on your work. It's, it's, I, I only got basically a few, a few hours here and there to go explore the territories. But sometimes I do get, you know, uh, experiences making movies where I get to go see the culture a lot more. This was not one of them, unfortunately. You didn't learn any Spanish from Alejandro? No, I didn't. Not a single word? I mean, I mean, I mean, the Spanish that they would say to each other on a daily basis was hilarious. I mean, it, I mean, I, I picked up a few Spanish words here and there. I don't even remember what they were, but yeah. <laughs> you know, Alejandro won the Oscar last year, and everybody's saying that this is your time. What do you think about it? What would it mean to get it? I think that uh, the one thing that you know when you make movies is you go in there, you do everything you possibly can to make a great piece of art, and you have no control over what's going to happen. So what it meant when you got your first nomination then, you know, 1994? Oh, I was very, I was very taken aback, and I was very surprised. The thing that I remember most of all was being petrified to go up on there in front of. When I heard how many people actually watched that awards ceremony, I was praying that I didn't have to go up on the podium. <laughs> That's what I remember. Not a very vengeful person. No, I wouldn't say I am. And your character has a lot of scars. Would you say that your movies are your scars in your career? <laughs> the good scars and bad scars. I would say good scars. <laughs> I'd say good scars and, for sure. And, and this movie, you know, uh, you play a, a father, a loving father. What would be the movies that you would like to show your children in the future? The, the, the first one and the last one. Well, they would have to certainly be at a particular age to watch most of my movies because <laughs> a lot of them deal with uh, extreme circumstances and some violence. So, uh, I mean, I, the first film that I would probably wa have them watch would be, you know, maybe Gilbert Grape or This oh, Boy's yeah. Life because that movie was about childhood and, um, and uh, you know, and uh, it was a very special time period for me. I ain't more. I've done it already.